done. Yeah. Sunny. Uh, hold on a minute, Jim. Let me call you back. Don cornered the market for precious stones by building a global network of scouts. I have people in all the different hot spots around the world. Quality, my guys on the ground, your ears on the ground that dial it into me or call me up. Boom, I'm feeling a vein. There's a vein, it's just a mineral vein. And I'm like, I gotta go. Okay, we're on our way. New discovery, Himalayan barrel. Cat, get us to Jaipur. He's just received a tip about Himalayan barrel, one of the rarest gemstones on Earth. This diamond-like gem surfaces only a few times a decade. Barrel is found in remote parts of the Himalayan mountains, where locals work small seams by pickaxe. When miners hit a vein, they want to sell for cash. The gem hunter that gets there first wins big. A cut Himalayan barrel the size of a pebble can fetch tens of thousands of dollars. For every thousand people that want a Himalayan barrel, there's maybe one stone that ever comes up to market. So if I don't go out there and get it, it's impossible to find it. This barrel is so rare that news of a recent find could spark a frenzy. The first buyer on the scene will get the best stones. Welcome back to India, Dawa. Who's this guy, Dawa? This is Sunny. He's one of my guys on the ground in India. Great at finding me gemstones, hey, hey. but terrible at driving. I'm watching myself here. I'm gonna die. There's a cow coming in the middle of the road. That was almost hamburger. I love Jaipur. It's complete madness and chaos. I mean, there's cows on the street, there's people everywhere, there's colors everywhere, but most of all, there's gems, and there's lots of gems. Jaipur's gem industry stretches back centuries when its rulers invited jewelers from all over Asia to settle here. Today, millions of dollars worth of gem deals play out on the back streets each year. It's been 24 hours since Don learned about the barrel. Word could have spread to other gem hunters. How solid is this guy that's giving us the barrel information? Oh, he's rock solid, brother. You can trust him, yeah. If this is real, if this is the rarest barrel in the world, we're gonna make a lot of money. Tony's worked with Don for 12 years. He's an expert at pricing rare stones. Look, I'm the numbers cruncher. I look at every deal and I'm always calculating what's the maximum we can pay, how much we can sell it for, how are we going to make money. Here we are, Indian cooking. Good old Indian food. Sonny told us about the Himalayan barrel. We've flown halfway across the world. He says there's a guy who's gonna come and show it to us. You know, we meet dodgy people that come from different locations with samples, and if it's good, we follow it. The guy's coming, supposedly. Long walk from the Himalayas. There he is. Our Nurbai is crawling and guessing. Hold on. So that's my man. Hello. Can I see the stones? Yeah, sure. That's the piece, what I was talking about. Can I see them all? The stones are uncut and rough. Shining a light through them can reveal purity, but only to a trained eye. That's why Don has Gavin. Gavin, what do you think? Exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. So I'm a self-confessed gem geek. I'm looking at the gem for the gem's sake. I'm gonna comment on the clarity, any visible treatments I can see, what kind of yield we can expect from the, the raw crystals. We needed a smart guy. 
and Gavin is that smart guy. Purity, off the charts. Clarity, off the charts. Some of the best I've ever seen. Three crystal quality Himalayan barrels in existence in front of me. That's a good enough lead to take me into the mountains. Does he know where the mine is? He knows it. How much is there? Eight point ten. He's saying 100 kilos. 100 kilos. 100 kilos. The rich. 100 kilos is over 220 pounds of barrel. If the quality at the mine matches these samples, they could make hundreds of thousands of dollars profit. So, can he show me where the mine is? He's saying that you have to buy these stones, and he'll give you the information and the map with the stones. I'll tell you what. He tells us where to go, how to get there, 1,500 cash. Yeah, we're done. Like he's, he said yes. OK, cool. Thank you. The map shows a section of the Pier Peñal mountain range in the Himalayas, 10,000 feet above sea level. Barrel mines are remote. Reaching this one will require a grueling climb through snowbound peaks and sub-zero temperatures. We can't let snow get in the way of this. This is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. We're going. To fund this mission, the team wires all their money to Jaipur. we got here? It's a quarter of a million dollars. Fear is Don's security. He watches out for the team and the cash. In the gem business, you know, it's all about money. There's no cash machines, there's no credit cards inside a mine. You're dealing with very valuable things, you know, people will kill for that. Yeah, hello? Where is he? So he stop at the Al Sasar Hotel. Just wait yeah. in the car to say. <laughs> <laughs> 